The Authenticity Project is a book that I picked up without anyone's recommendation. I don't really know how I came across this. I think it was on Amazon somehow that I got to know about this book and I picked it up just because it said that it was a light and fun read. And I have to admit that I quite enjoyed reading it. There are quite a few reasons why I liked this book. Uh, first of all, I was looking for something which was warm, comforting and pleasant and this book falls into that category very effectively. Secondly, most of the characters were very likeable and after one point, you wanted to know what would happen to them, the book started to read more like friendly gossip as opposed to a novel or a story. And thirdly, I really enjoyed the bits about Julian. He is an artist who teaches some people how to paint and whenever he talked about art and whenever he tried teaching painting, those bits were something that I really enjoyed reading. You know, at times you want to read something, at times you want to read a book which does not put any kind of pressure on your mind. You just want to read something and relax. Well, this book is something that falls exactly in that category. It does not, it is not a very thought heavy book. The text does not engage you in too much of a thought, but still maintains your interest enough that you want to read on and keep seeing what happens next and how the characters behave and react to each other. I have to say the story does make use of a lot of cliches. There are a lot of parts which you say that, oh, this is what was supposed to happen. And yes, this is so typically a Hollywood rom-com. But, you know, but I don't mind cliches once in a while. And the characters in this book, I want to say people. So the people in this book do all sorts of things that I enjoy. They go traveling solo to places. They spend time in cafes, drinking coffee, they paint, they create art, they discuss art and all of them intentionally want to be nice to each other. A major incident in the story happens around Christmas and Christmas time. So, uh, so looking at all of this, you can imagine the kind of environment the story and the book creates, which is quite a pleasure to read. Just to give you a slight orientation what the book is about. So uh, there's this one character, an artist, Julian, who is quite senior and he's in his late 70s I believe. So he starts this whole project, he calls it the Authenticity Project and what he does is he takes a notebook and he writes some stuff about himself and he puts out all the insecurities that he has and all the desires that he has and, and he just writes that whosoever finds this notebook next uh, should write about themselves and, uh, and talk about themselves in full honesty and then this chain should keep going on and on and on. And so because of this authenticity project, a lot of people cross paths and a lot of people get in touch with each other. And that's how the story starts to proceed and propel. I really enjoyed reading this book. But that said, I also do understand this is a book which is not for everyone. Uh, there would be people uh, who would find this book a bit too sugary or a bit too mushy, probably not mushy, but definitely sugary and, uh, and not as intriguing as they might want it to be. So that said, but if you're looking for a light, easy read, which does not disturb you from any point of view, I think this is one book that you can look at to read next. All right, guys, that's all for today. So uh, hope you are staying well, hope you are staying safe. And do let me know what you guys are reading these days. And if you've read this book, let's talk about it in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe, keep reading. Cheers.